Hello, Pastor Don here this morning. It is Thursday, <clears throat> July the 23rd. We continue our scripture reading this morning. And um, sometimes I wonder, when you read scripture, when you hear scripture, do you understand it? Does it make any sense to you? Well, today's reading is all about um, what is our level of receptivity when we hear or read scripture. Scripture can only be read and understood if we have an open heart and an open mind. Today's uh, scripture lesson comes to us from Matthew in the 13th chapter, verses 17 to 20, and I'm going to read out of the Message Bible uh, this morning. The disciples came up and asked, Why do you tell stories? And he replied, You've been given insight into God's kingdom. You know how it works. Not everybody has this gift, this insight. It hasn't been given to them. Whenever someone has a ready heart for this, the insights and understandings flow freely. But if there is no readiness, any trace of receptivity soon disappears. That's why I tell stories, to create readiness, to judge the people toward receptive insight in their present state. They can stare till doomsday and not see it, listen till they're blue in the face and not get it. I don't want Isaiah's forecast repeated all over again. Your ears are open, but you don't hear a thing. Your eyes are awake, but you don't see a thing. The people are blockheads. They stick their fingers in their ears so they won't have to listen. They screw their eyes shut so they won't have to look, so they won't have to deal with me face to face and let me heal them. But you have God-blessed eyes, eyes that see and God blessed ears, ears that hear. A lot of people, prophets and humble believers among them, would have given anything to see what you are seeing, to hear what you are hearing, but they never had the chance. Listening with reverence and listening with faith are uh, precursors to understanding the Word of God. If we uh, go into it with a closed mind or with a skeptical heart, then it's going to be a closed topic. We're not going to understand. But Jesus chose to use parables, and we've just, for the past couple of weeks in worship, uh, read several of the parables that he used. And these were, were stories that were uh, relatable to, to everyone, things that were part of their everyday lives and uh, opened the door to understanding to what it is God wanted to reveal about the kingdom of God. And so when we sit down to read scripture, we should do so with a very open heart, almost like a child, asking that God would reveal the lesson that he wants revealed. So as we go through these scripture lessons every day, uh, I hope that you're finding the opportunity to go a little bit deeper and to uh, open your hearts and your minds so that the, the meaning comes through for you and that they make a difference in your life. Let's say a quick prayer. Gracious God, we again are thankful for your holy word that reveals your truth to us. Lord, help us to continue to be like children, to open our minds innocently so that we might receive your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we, we continue to pray fervently that the uh, spread of this COVID-19 will subside, that you will uh, enable those who are working on vaccines to uh, succeed in their work. Protect us, Lord, as we continue to wonder when all of this will end. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for our health. We thank you for all of the blessings of our lives. And as we continue to wait for the day when we can return to some kind of normal, uh, hopefully we are beginning to understand what true priorities are and those things that are most valuable in our lives. Help us, Lord, to recognize them, to place our trust in you as we wait for all of this to pass. And all of God's people said, Amen. 
Again, I hope that you're well today, and I hope that you will uh, not just let this be the only scripture you read today, that you will uh, have uh, the opportunity to open your Bible and read a little more deeply, and to read um, with open hearts, with open minds, so that God can reveal uh, his truths even more fully. Until we meet again tomorrow, Pastor Don saying God bless.